So this needs to be, uh, we need to continue on this Tim Canova story. This is, I mean, Tim Canova, Tim Canova is the Florida uh, candidate for Congress in Florida 23. He's challenging Debbie Wasserman Schultz. He challenged her in 2016 and argu arguably won that election. The ballots were destroyed before recount can be done. Broward County. Now, that, that was always speculation, right? Until now. But the, the thing, Tim Canova, a couple of days ago, made the decision to dump the Democratic Party and run as an independent, right? He's going to, he's now going to, it costs the same amount of money and he'll be on the ballot in November instead of getting, getting a hatchet job by the Democrats, the lying, cheating, stealing Democrats. He'll have his, uh, he'll have a, a shot in uh, November in the general election to go against the Democrat, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, who he arguably beat in 2016 and some Republican schmuck who doesn't have a chance. Now, what I'm going to play to you, right, is is the, the the demise of the of the the electoral system in America, right? It's not a theory. Are they cheating? They there's so much. So what you're so going to see evidence. is you're going to hear Tim. Tim is going to talk a little bit about the, about the case, and then we'll lead into the actual uh, Broward County election, whatever the fuck she is, right? Who count? Who's in charge of of the the election? The Democrat in charge of the election who favored Wasserman Schultz. So watch this. This is this is sickening, sickening. A number of election integrity folks started contacting me. They had started to analyze the data. They started to have some real questions. We thought let's put in a public records request under Florida's law. Florida has a very good public records law. And right off the bat, we were told by the Broward County Supervisor of Elections. They didn't do any digital scanned images of the ballots. Like six months went by and the Broward County Supervisor of Elections just was stonewalling us. So I brought a lawsuit last June. Um, and while the lawsuit was pending, uh, we learned that the Broward Supervisor of Elections destroyed all of our paper ballots and destroyed them in September of 2017 while the litigation was pending. Now, isn't there a statute that they're supposed <laughs> to hang on to those ballots yes. for a certain amount of time? How long are they supposed to hang on? Federal statute says 22 months. For the purposes of destruction of records, is there a difference between a state and federal election? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what's the difference? Well, for federal elections, not races, federal elections, the destruction schedule is 22 months. For local elections, the destruction date is uh, 12 months. So, so, so there she is, the, the lovely Brenda Snipes telling you all about the law and the rules and the period of 22 months and 12 months. She knows all about the rules, all about the election law and, and, uh, and everything. So c continue to watch. Watch this. This is, again, it's, it's foul, foul. My, my cat is screaming foul foul play watch and you know as it relates to this situation i think the problem is that we had um they were destroyed by mistake the time was it was a mistake and it turns out it was a mistake we made a mistake did you hear we made a mistake it was all just a mistake they're under federal federal there's a there's a, the, a hearing a proceeding proceeding to get the ballots out of their hands and what do they do they destroy the ballots it's illegal they broke federal law right broke federal law nobody she, she, the snipe still has a job still employed still employed down in florida she did a good job she took one for the team right that's the way the clintons and the, and the democrats work oh i took one for the team Fucking cheaters man people this is Martin Luther King Day, right? People, people lost their lives for to, to, to fight for for free and fair elections and 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 the, the the abolishment of discrimination. All these things. These people are fucking disgusting, man. Let's watch some more. Now, when they told us they destroyed the paper ballots, they said, "Oh, by the way, we do have digital scanned images after all." So we have no what? idea what to believe destruction order that was signed on September 1st of 2017 the supervisor of elections was certifying that the ballots were not the subject of any pending litigation well indeed they were and she was actually the named defendant in that mm -hmm. litigation and we'd already served pre-trial discovery requests 
So there you have it. Tim Canova, a, 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 a law professor down in, in, in Florida, he knows what he's talking about. They, Brenda Snipes was served. They were served the papers. They knew about the litigation. And they went, they went ahead and destroyed the, the, the ballot. Said, oh, we made a fucking mistake. Why did you sign a document allowing for the destruction of Mr. Canova's ballots? When I sign, I sign folders filled with information. So I was given that document by Mr. Spencer. That's his responsibility. And that's how I happen to have signed the document. Okay. And you knew that those ballots were the ballots, that the, those records were the public records that were sought by lawsuit. I did not review every line on that document. There were a lot of things listed. I trust my staff. They have the responsibility of giving me information that's correct. The first of three public records requests was over a year ago. We were stonewalled for six months, finally filed the suit to enforce our rights. And while the lawsuit was pending, they destroyed the ballots. And that's in violation, apparently, according to Politico's uh, uh, interviews with seven election law experts in violation of federal law and in defiance of the court itself. So you've got to ask, why would somebody be violating the law to destroy ballots? I, I mean, it, it's, it's breathtaking evidence. She's admitting that she signed the documents to destroy the ballots. She admits that she signed the document to destroy the ballots. I don't know. I don't know. They hand me documents. I sign anything. I don't know what the fuck I'm signing. That's 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 the state of the elections. Let us say that in court and then throw her in fucking jail for, for perjury. All right, this is this is out of control, man. Folks, I'm at the point now where this is lying, cheating, and stealing, right? They they lie, they cheat, they steal, right? They stole your money. I gave money to Tim Canova. I got I got ripped off, right? They lied. They lied. I don't even know what to say. I mean, it, the, the, the evidence says it all. But I'm at the point now where people who actively think and actively politic for the Democratic Party, if they actively think that somehow they're going to take this this pile of fucking criminals and turn them into decent citizens that we can trust with the law and trust that, that they have any integrity whatsoever, you're a traitor, right? At this point, you're a traitor, right? If you're, if you're a, a, a politician and you're running in the Democratic, Democratic, on the Democratic ticket, you're a fucking traitor. Don't call yourself some lefty Bernie Crad or some, some you know, so, oh, yeah, progressive uh, fucking, you know, what's the what's the other one the just us just us democrats look you're all full of shit all right you got to get out of the democratic party right this is these these people are fucking criminals right this is evidence evidence hard factual evidence of the woman in charge of the of the election telling you that she destroyed the ballots so that no one could count the ballots why because canova won the election that's why they destroyed the ballots why else would you destroy a ballots that's motive. He's challenging it. Let's see how many were how many how many were for for Wasserman and how many were for Tim. Tim Canova won that election. Tim Canova should be in in Washington D.C. He should be the 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 the, the uh, congressman in Florida twenty three. Right now, people say, well, you know, you can't if all the Democrats, if everybody ran independent. This is a common argument, right? People say you can't. You you, you got to run in the in the in a regular party, in the Republicans or Democratic slot because then if you win, you have no political clout. You stand there all by yourself. Hold on. Right, but that's bullshit because if a guy like Tim Canova wins, what happens? He goes down there like a like a like 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 a crazy man, and he he can get in in Congress and get on the floor and bang his fist on the table and make some noise. And, and and fight for for regular people. That's what it's all about. So, don't don't give me the shit that the Democratic that you have to be a you got to run on the Democrats. Bernie Sanders is wrong. You don't overtake the Democratic Party. If he would have defected and ran as an independent or t t took over the Green Party, he would have won and he would have been the president. Right. 
but this is this is this is I mean this is this is evidence in the record and this woman still has a job the lying the cheating the stealing democrats right fucking unbelievable man unbelievable thank you tim canova for dumping that into the record thank you tim canova you know i he's still up he's still it's an uphill climb because if this woman is still in place in november she's responsible for certifying the election she's gonna fucking cheat again right they're, gonna, they're, they're cheating. They're cheating. They don't want Canova to become the congressman and, and have jurisdiction over them because Tim Canova's likely to throw them all in fucking jail, right? <laughs> That's what he should do. But anyway, it's uh, it's bad news. My, my name is Marcus Conti. Uh, I'm an investigative journalist, YouTube blogger, and uh, I'm here to stay. How about you? Peace out. You know, as it relates to this situation, I think the problem is that we had, um, they were destroyed by mistake. The time was, it was a mistake.